Hey, if you're coming into the Dubai real estate market to invest, then it's very critical for you to understand an overview of the map. Now, I could give you the map. If you walk into one of, uh, for example, the EMAR sales center, you're going to get the full map. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a guideline along the main things that are on the map specific to Dubai real estate. Follow through on this video because I'm going to drop more information as I guide you through the map. Show real fast. Okay, guys, I just want to give you a quick pictorial representation of what area Dubai covers. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can actually see this. But this essentially speaking, using Google satellite is the, you know, I got to go a little bit out. And this is the main area of Dubai. Actually, I don't know how far into the sea it stretches, but this is what Dubai is. What you can obviously notice is along the coast over here, Dubai has almost about maybe 100 kilometers of regular coastline that is on the sea. But then you've got Palm Jab Jumeirah, Palm Jabal Ali, the world islands, which then add more sea to the entire, it's more sea facing prime real estate. Okay. Now, this is Palm Jabal, Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jabal Ali. Somewhere here is downtown where Burj Khalifa is. Just to let you know, most of this side of Dubai has been built in the last 25 years. Most of it. Doesn't mean that nobody was living here. But this is considered the older Dubai. This is considered the new Dubai. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the actual map. We're ready to go? Okay, now you see a bunch of stuff over here. Try to imagine this to be the same kind of map, all right? This is Palm Jabal Ali, this is Palm Jumeirah, and this is downtown, as I've previously mentioned, okay? But I'm now going to start talking about each of these major uh, landmarks in terms of the, uh, each of these major communities in Dubai, so you get an idea of what is where. Now I'm going to start from 40 years ago of what was already there before Dubai opened up its real estate market in 2002-2003, okay? So one of the earliest things that I've put on this map is Dubai Airport, okay? This is where Dubai Airport is, okay? So if you understand, remember I pointed out to you, can I go to the map? Can I go to the Google map? Remember I pointed out to you, sorry, it kind of like unravels it. Uh, sorry, just one minute. So, remember I pointed it out to you that this is Palm Jabal Ali, this is Palm Jumeirah, and most of this part is the new Dubai, whereas this part is the older Dubai. The airport is somewhere here, okay? The airport is somewhere here, okay? Now, let's go back. Yeah, so that's where the airport is, okay? The other thing that was there 30, 35 years ago was the Jabal Ali port. Okay, the Jabal Ali port has nothing to do with real estate, but it gives you an idea. Dubai being a trading hub, the airport right there, Jabal Ali port right there, allowed Dubai to import and re-export tons and tons, billions and billions of dollars worth of good, incoming from China, going into Africa, incoming from the world, going into Russia, when Russia opened up, so on and so forth. Now, one of, the, one of the first few communities that Dubai launched that really put them on the map during the freehold era of 2022 was they launched something called Dubai Marina. Okay, remember this side? Maybe I'll do blue. This side? This side is C, okay, guys? So this gives you a better idea, okay? This side, blue's okay? All right, I'll go back. Uh, I don't need blue forever. So that, that side is C. One of the first things that they launched was Dubai Marina. In fact, maybe, maybe I'll stick to blue um, for the sea facing communities, okay? First thing they launched was Dubai Marina, Palm Jumeirah, one of the earlier things, and Palm Jabal Ali. Now, 
Palm Jumeirah and Dubai Marina has kind of like been completed to a large extent. Palm Jabal Ali was put on hold. The infrastructure up to 80-90% was done. It's now going to restart. The other communities that they launched was Arabian ranches, which are villas around a golf course downtown. And I'm going to talk about later what were the main things over here, okay? With Dubai Marina, they launched also JLT, Jumeirah Lake Towers. And then more recently, the launches have been MBR, MBR City, Creek Harbor, Bulgari around the world islands, okay? So just to give you an idea of how the communities have done. Now, the most recent launch has been Imar Beachfront, okay? This was 2018. Again, fully sea facing. And around 2015 16, Dubai and Imar South was launched. Dubai World Central has been operating since 2013 and Expo 2020. This corridor is different, okay? So, Dubai World Central, Imar South, Dubai South is meant to be actually the world's largest aerotropolis and allow for a lot of freight movement between Jabal Ali Port, which is the world's largest, largest, uh, the world's busiest port. And Dubai World Center, which is supposed to be the world's largest airport, okay? Around this corridor, there are a lot of other villas and townhouse communities, okay? So, comms, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a repetition, okay? So, if you land at Dubai Airport, let's go from here. If you land at Dubai Airport and now you start going towards the newer parts of Dubai where freehold communities are, the first one you're going to touch is Creek Harbor. Then you go further down, you'll get to downtown in the middle where Burj Khalifa is. You get to the World Islands, which are World Islands in Bulgari, which is a, a La Mer, La Mer, sorry, La Mer is also there. La Mer, Port de la Mer, okay, Port de la Mer. Uh, you get to Port de la Mer, World Islands, Bulgari on the seaside. You get to downtown with Burj Khalifa here. And you get, then you get to MBR city, which is right behind and then there's District 1, okay, guys? District 1, okay? District 1, okay? So District 1 is right here in MBR City. If you go further down and you go a little bit downwards, away from the sea, you will get to Arabian Ranches and the other villa communities. But if you stick to the main artery, so uh, let's go back to Black. You stick to the main artery of Sheikh Zayed Road, okay? So imagine this is S Sheikh Zayed Road, SZR, that's the local name. You will get to JLT on one side, Dubai Marina on the other side. These are again beach communities and the metro stations. So the metro stations, metro stations, the metro runs along Sheikh Zayed Road, okay? And you can pretty much keep going all the way to Palm Jabal Ali. And if you go further down, much further down, by the way, it's almost like between here and here is about 40 minutes, okay? 40 minutes. You will get to Dubai South, Imar South, Dubai World Central, and Export 2020. And that allows you to have a very good idea of what the major communities are in Dubai. If you've got questions about specific communities, put them in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer. If I can't answer, I'll try to find you an answer, but either way. Don't forget to watch another video I'm going to do about what are the main landmarks in these different communities. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.